We are meant to gain authority over ourselves, our lives, our experiences and what we create. And this is one of the reasons we are here in 3D. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sylvia Sol and I help light workers and star seeds to remember who they are. And I want to talk about authority. It's such an important topic because it brings us from the dependent child mentality as a humankind into that sovereign, mature being at a level of mastery. And authority is that bridge between the two. Sometimes I get asked this question, why, if we are already perfect, have to go through all those challenges, pains, rebirth, all these things that we do here? if we are already all that love, wisdom and more. Why we have to have those experiences? Well, there are more reasons, but one of them is the authority. Because you can be the most perfect being, you can know everything as a concept, an idea, but can you really live according to it? When you imagine that we come from much higher dimensions, and that those higher di dimensions, depending on the type of the soul, um, we may be a part of consciousness that can be experienced and described as light. It's a collective consciousness of light where more individual infused beings and you are all of it. And at that level, you know and understand that all is light, all is love. But what happens if you descend through dimensions and get all the way here where you are and you live in this world of polarity and you have all those challenges? Can you demonstrate it? Can you embody it? Can you embody that light? Can you embody that which you previously thought you were and how to do things correctly? Can you do it here? Can you demonstrate it? Can you gain authority over it? Because if you don't gain authority over something, it never has been ours. We just thought so. It's similar like when uh, you would have a child and you would uh, give them a multi-million dollar business. And now the child has that business, it has that kingdom, it has all that is, but is the child able to mature and become a wise CEO of the company? Or is the child going to spend everything and act mindlessly with everything that was given to the child? Only through that maturity and in our case through lots of mistakes, trial and error, we gain that mastery. And that mastery is important. Because somebody can give you everything, somebody can give you the whole universe. But if you are not able to act responsibly with what you have, then it's not really yours. It becomes a part of you only when you prove yourself through handling those situations that are presented in your life. When you call upon the power of your soul and you demonstrate that you have mastered your life yourself and you have gained an authority over your experience, then you truly are the master. And then it's not a concept, not an idea. You are it, you have become it. And so think about the situations in your life. How could you uh, approach those situations as a mature soul? And how could you use them as situations that help you to step into the authority of who you are. In the past, we had some amazing beings on this planet, very, very high evolved beings on this planet. And I don't think they really had to come here, but it was their choice. And why would they bother to go all the way here to demonstrate to us what light is, what love is, what is consciousness, 
how to evolve, how to live this life. They didn't have to do it. But even them, they also are on the journey of gaining the authority in situations that are really difficult. Because once it's being demonstrated, it's, it's yours, it's truly a part of you. It's the same as somebody would give you lots of power. But are you going to misuse that power? If so, then you never understood it. You cannot be trusted. But if you are going to become a wise leader and create a greater good with that power, then you have gained that authority. And then you can get more power because you are responsible. You have proven yourself. So it's this kind of paradox. Yes, we are those divine beings. But it doesn't mean that uh, we just have to sit on a cloud and do nothing. We wanted to come here and demonstrate our authority over those situations that we have actually created at some level ourselves. And that level can be prior to being born at a soul level. Or it can be as we are incarnated, but still, we are writing the script of our lives and also with other people and with the evolutionary cycles. It all combines together and we participate in it because we want to. Sometimes we forget it, but we want to be here. And so it's, we are here not to, you know, do nothing and just like pray that everything will be okay and the life will get easy. That's the mentality of a child. But the mentality of a master is, how can I approach this situation as a master, as a sovereign being? What are the soul lessons here? How can I create greater good with what I have? How can I amplify my queendom, my kingdom? How can I be the vessel for more consciousness, for more love, for more light? Show me what can I do. This is what defines a master. So let me know in the comments below how you resonate with uh, being in authority of your life. Have you experienced some situations that really taught you some deep lessons and then you felt like, oh, now I have mastered it and it feels so good and then you never fall back into that old self because once you master it, you're not falling back anywhere anymore. Have you experienced some situations in your life and it can be something huge or it can be something simple. It doesn't always have to be something gigantic. All those little moments of our lives matter. So we don't have to wait for something huge to happen because there is something happening every time. Thank you for watching this video and if you like it, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you in the next one.